What I want to talk about today is a high vibrational relationship and specifically a high vibrational romantic relationship with a partner who has a lot of trauma. This can seem very challenging, but as long as that partner is aware of their trauma and is working toward having a high vibrational relationship, then things can eventually work out. But it takes both parties and it takes a lot of patience. So let's talk more about that in this video. I have a lot of personal experience with this one. As a light worker who specializes in helping people with negative entity attachments, we know that negative entity attachments come to people who generally have childhood trauma, adulthood trauma, something that is lowering their vibrational frequency and something that has happened to them that makes them feel not empowered. This sort of practice has helped me put me in the position to work with someone who I love dearly, my romantic relationship partner, who has a very similar background to that. So how do you work with someone in your life who it wants to have a high vibrational relationship, who loves you dearly, but also struggles with childhood traumas that flare up from time to time? Well, one of the things that you always have to remember, and this is for absolutely any situation, the only person that you can change is yourself. Your goal here in the relationship is not to actually change the partner at all. If they want to make that change, then great. You can be there to support that process and give insight and thoughts as they come to you. However, if they don't want to, then you cannot try to force it. And you cannot form a relationship based on, well, it'll eventually get to be the way that I want it to be. You have to love that person deeply and unconditionally no matter what the situation. So if you can look at your partner right now and say, I could live the rest of my life with this partner exactly as he or she is, then you're starting on the right foot. But if you say, well, I'll put up with this until they make this change that they want to make and, or that I want them to make or both, then you might be in for a difficult time. So I'd say that's the number one thing is to absolutely know for sure that they don't need to change at all. Who needs to change? Maybe it's you. And in the ways that you have to change are potentially having more patience for them, having more understanding of their situation, being able to empathize with their childhood and all the things that happened before that has led them to where they are now. So the next thing is when they have an episode, when they have a flare up from their childhood and it's, it's manifesting in your life, in many cases, they will look at you as the representative of the childhood trauma. So in some way, you do say or act in a way that reminds them of that trauma or the individual who caused that trauma for them in the first place. So of course, in those situations, they're going to look at you as the enemy, as the abuser, or as the person who cannot be trusted. Well, here's where it gets really challenging because this person that you love so dearly and that you believe loves you all of a sudden is on the attack or they are blaming you. But what they're doing is they are seeing you as the enemy because it relates to their past childhood or their past trauma. So now you have to step back for a moment and say, wait a minute, this person is not actually mad at me. They actually don't believe that I'm a problem at all. What they're actually struggling with is a manifestation, a version of that past trauma. So here's where you, your patience comes in. To be able to sit back and to understand them and to be supportive even in those situations is super important. Because you're going to know that eventually they're going to go back to the way they were before, that they deeply love you and they're going to be very apologetic for this outburst. It's okay. So to get through that process, to help them get through it all, maybe to work on that past trauma with them, maybe to just be patient and be supportive and be loving and, and let them know that no matter what they say or do, it's not going to change anything, that you're not going to give up on them or that you're not going to, or that you're not going to blame them for any of it, that it's totally okay and they have to work through the process in their own time. 
Sometimes this can be done very quickly. And sometimes it can take a while. It can take days. Being patient and being there for them shows your dedication to your partner and really to yourself. Because every opportunity, of course, is an opportunity to learn some great lesson, to grow and expand in some incredible way. What better way to do that than with this partner, this partner who you love so dearly, who you've dedicated yourself to. If anybody deserves your patience and your understanding and your opportunity to improve yourself, it's them. Every situation is absolutely different, but knowing that your partner is going through whatever it is that they're going through and you're just there to help, to support, to be patient, to love, that shows an incredible amount of love. They can never say that you don't love them. They can't because here you are there. Maybe you even have a smile on your face. Maybe you even have a tear in your eye showing how much you truly do care and how much you truly do love because that's what's happening. That's, that's going to happen and you should allow it to. Don't hold it back. Don't try to change yourself in this situation. The only thing you want to do is rely on your deep self and that deep self that I'm talking about is the loving one. Rely on that love to carry you through no matter what happens. This is an advanced challenge for you because we have our own childhood traumas. And so when there's a flare up, then we might be taken back to those experiences. So it's extra challenging to overcome your own traumas even in that situation. But here's the biggest one of all. Here's the biggest advice that I could possibly have. It's communicate. It's to say, okay, you're dealing with a childhood trauma right now. And actually the way that you're acting or that, that I'm responding to you is causing me to have a, a reflection of my childhood trauma. And so I'm responding by getting angry or getting disappointed or getting hurt. This is normal. This is what happens. So hopefully you can be patient with me as I go through the same thing that you're going through, just in a very different way, in my own way. When you can talk very directly to the truth, the deep authentic truth, then there's an amazing thing that can occur. Because if they are in an episode, you can break through that episode by talking in that specific truth. Hey, I know what's happening right now and it doesn't change anything. I still love you. As a matter of fact, I'm responding in a way that probably makes you doubt me. Maybe it makes you doubt my love for you. But believe me, even though I'm upset or I'm acting in, in a strange way, deep down, I still love you. And this is just my way of responding to your situation. That takes a lot, doesn't it? It takes a lot of self-awareness. So what's the best way to have self-awareness like this? Well, you can watch the rest of my videos on my YouTube channel to get into that because I've definitely dedicated a lot of my content to that sort of situation. So I would say I'm going to leave a link above on something that you could watch next that might help you start to understand how to look at yourself and to look at it all from a different perspective because it's the perspective that matters. If I looked at everything from my 3D, very limited perspective, then it's going to have a very, I'm going to have a very limited response. But if I can look at it from a very high perspective, a high vibrational perspective, then all of a sudden everything becomes possible. And that's really what we're talking about. And to have a high vibrational relationship with anyone, no matter whether they have those childhood traumas or they have some other issue or they don't really have too many issues at all. It still takes that high perspective, that understanding of each individual, that empathy that we have for everyone, but especially for our partners. That is critical and it's going to carry you really far in a relationship, especially when both partners really want something exactly like I'm talking about which is this deep love, this deep understanding, and this dedication to each other that you are going to make it through no matter what the situation is. So I'd like to go ahead and provide an activation here. 
let's, let's call it a patience activation. So in situations that you might run into where you're starting to flare up and you're starting to get angry or you're starting to get hurt or disappointed or any of the, or fearful, any of the lower vibrational emotions, there's a, there's a moment where you, you, you can catch it and you can say, wait, I know what's actually happening. I know that this is all going to work out. So all I have to do is take a big deep breath and relax. So let's do an activation that can maybe help kick that in, in those situations. So go ahead and close your eyes and take a nice big deep breath and relax as you exhale. You are in the perfect situation right now. You are in a peaceful state. This is the state that you want to come back to, no matter what situation you are presented with, from your partner, from anything in life. There's a patience that's required to handle any of those challenges. So zooming in on what patience is, it is breathing deeply, it is understanding, it is waiting. Patience is all about time. Impatience is I want it now. Patience is, I know I'm going to get it. So I'm in no hurry. So let's put ourselves in, I know that it's all going to work out. And it doesn't matter how long it takes. The way my activations work is I'm going to say, breath in. And when I do, you're going to take a nice big deep breath. You're going to hold it at the top. And you're going to wait for me to make a loud explosive sound. And then you can exhale. So tuning in to patience and peace. Breath in. Good. Take another big deep breath to fully integrate this into your energy field. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. Thank you for participating in that activation. Those are the quick, simple ones. They do, they make a change at your energy field instantly. But there are other ones that you can download off of my website or you can schedule an appointment with me. They're 20 or 30 minutes, maybe even longer, and they can do things at a much deeper energetic level and make bigger changes that last the rest of your life. So I hope you've learned something from this video and you are going to be able to take a more patient look at any relationship that you might have in your life. Maybe it's not a romantic relationship. Maybe it's a relationship with a parent or a boss or a coworker or a sibling or it goes on. Hopefully you can tune in to that energy, that energy of patience, that energy of peace, even when things are going a little bit awry. Fear tells us that things are going to go wrong in the future. Patience and peace, we know that things are going to go great. You just have to get through this short period of time that may not feel very comfortable at that moment. So thank you so much for watching this video, participating in the activation, subscribing, liking, and commenting. Let me know what you thought of it and how it can help you. And if you have any other ideas, for future videos. I love you unconditionally, and I'll see you in the next video.